Hey there YouTubers, All right? So in this video, we are going to do some uh, basic chamfers inside of Autodesk Inventor Professional 2023. Now, first thing you gotta have is a uh, solid to start with. So we have that. I'm gonna sh put uh, three different chamfers on here. Basically, so you can get an idea of how it's done in different situations. So I've got basically a cube here. We've got this connection that we've got here, and then uh, on this shaft, uh, we'll do this outer one. So three places, one here, one there, and one there. All right. So first thing you do is click on chamfer. And one of the things you have to know kind of is, is really the diameter of this. Okay, it's like 0.58. This is a one by one. So if we go, you don't want to go too big with this, all right? That could be a problem. And uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, hopefully you have an idea of the value you want. So we'll keep it at 0.125. This is basically going to cut into the material 0.125 this way and then 1.125 there. There's also uh, distance and angle, and then you could pick two distances. So we'll do an example of each one. So make this easy. Right off the bat, we'll click this one, and you can see 0.125, what that looks like. If I wanted to change that value, maybe I thought that was too big. Maybe I wanted uh, 330 seconds. So we could do that. And then voila, we have a uh, chamfer right here, okay? So there's our first one. So if we came in and we want to add another chamfer down here, maybe this time I want to do it at an angle. And 45 is going to basically be the same thing we had before, right? So let's do 30. Uh, but in this case, let's make this a little bit bigger. I think we have enough room like that. And then we're going to click our edge. So select face for chamfer. So we're going to do that and then select the edge. We want that one, okay? Now you can see that thing is uh, really wide. Maybe it's a little too big. That's what it's going to look like, okay? But for this example, we'll go ahead and uh, apply and take that, all right? Now, let's do one more chamfer. And because we made this one so big, we're not going to be able to do that one. So let's do uh, two distances. And you can set these however you want. Uh, thing is, select edges for chamfers. And we'll just click that one. Oops, sorry. Select edges, so apply that one. If we want to add to it, click that one, apply. All right. Now, if we want this one in the back, see it's highlighted in green now, so apply. All right. Now, if I come back later and I don't like what I've done, all right, so we have all these different chamfers. I can always edit the feature. Right? The other thing I could do is show dimensions first. So, okay. I don't necessarily like that. Let's go ahead and edit the feature. That'll bring this back up. So maybe I make it smaller. Okay. Now, the next chamfer can also show dimensions again so you can get an idea by looking at this how that laid out maybe you swapped them maybe it's not the way you wanted it maybe I actually wanted this to be 60 degrees I could change that uh, or maybe you know maybe I just want to be at uh, 32 degrees so once again edit feature 
in chapter 13 and removing that change. Uh, same thing can be done down here if you wanted to. You could individually do these because they're all made individually. Folks, that's going to do it for this uh, basic example of how to create chamfers in Autodesk Inventor Professional 2023. Check back for more things. We'll go over uh, all of these features up here at some point, and uh, hopefully you'll learn something. Uh, a lot of CAD experience here. And actually, over the last few years, have not done as much CAD as I uh, would like to have, but life takes us in different directions. So. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.